Hello, everybody. I'm Emma Vilhorn, and today I'll be talking about modes of inheritance in the Roloff family from the TV show Little People, Big World. I'll be talking about chondroplasia, which is a form of dwarfism. As you can see, this is their pedigree. They have it in three generations. The first generation doesn't have it because oh, no. chondroplasia is only inherited 20% of the time, and the other 80% is random mutation. So, the first one is autosomal recessive, which means you have to have little a, little a to have it. And Amy has little a, little a, and Matt would probably be heterozygous because his kids do have it and don't have it. So if the two of them cross, then some would have it and some would not. And that matches up with the pedigree. We then move on to Zach and Tori. As long as Tori is heterozygous, they can have some kids that have it, some kids that don't, both their kids have it, so that works. And for Jeremy and Audrey, neither of them have it and neither of their kids have it, so that works too. For excellent receptive, that means they have to have little a, little a to have it. Amy has little a, little a, Matt would have to have a big A, and if they're crossed, they can have daughters that don't have it, and they can have sons that do have it. They have sons that don't have it, so that doesn't work because only one of their sons actually has it. For Y-linked, that means it has to be on the Y chromosome. However, Amy and Lilla don't have Y chromosomes, which means this pedigree would not work for Y-linked. Excellent dominant, that means you have to have AA or little a, big A, and Amy is likely heterozygous just because of the inheritance, and Matt is likely homozygous recessive. So if the two of them cross, then you can see they can have sons that do have it and don't have it, and daughters that do have it and don't have it. And so that would work out. And Zach does have it. So if Zach and Tori have kids, you can see that they can have daughters that do have it, and they can have sons that don't have it. However, their son does have it. So that's inheritance. Kind of Autosomal dominant means you can have big A, big A, or big A, little a. And as we can see, Amy is heterozygous. Her husband is little a, little a. And if they were to cross, then they can have kids that do have it and kids that don't have it, which works out with the pedigree. And then if Zach and Tori were to have kids, he is heterozygous, she is homozygous recessive. They can have kids that do have it and don't have it. So autosomal dominant would work as well. So autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive are both modes of inheritance that work for the Rolla family pedigree. Thank you for listening. Bye.